Hi guys, it's uh, TMC Pottery here and we've got our brand new kiln which we're going to bis fire for the very first time today and we are so excited. Yeah. So sit back and enjoy. We've been overseen by our the boss, boss here, the boss, Sylvester. Sylvester? Hey, say hello to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> These are our cups that we are going to get bissed. Ready to uh, be decorated after that. management, sleeping on the job, while the workers do the work. Go figure. <laughs> what are you grabbing, Daddy? Now uh, I'm going to get my cubism plates. The a Picasso inspired, of course, I'm no Picasso. Put that one in, then we'll do an old loop with the next one for later. These may run, so we're going to put these under little cookies, just in case, because it's only a test wash. Um, this one is cobalt and uh, gersley borate, and um, I've forgotten the other two ingredients, but anyway, it's a wash. <laughs> so these are the cups with the wash on. So the ingredients are gersley borate, rutile, and a little bit of bentonite plus the colourant. So this colourant is cobalt. We've actually just put an underglaze on the inside of the cup and on the handle. This one is a, a red iron oxide wash. We're concerned it might, because it's only a test, we're, we're concerned it might actually run onto the kiln shelves. Um, it's an unknown. And um, same ingredients, gersley borate, rutile and bentonite. A red underglaze on the inside and on the handle. And this one here is the same again, so another wash, test wash, same ingredients to copper wash. So we'll see how this turns out. So these cups are just underglaze. So we've just painted um, underglaze on these. And they, they won't run because they're so stable. They should be stable anyway, we hope. Um, this is just a little tumbler. A bit of colour there, we'll see how that turns out. That's Christine's work here, which is just perfect work with her brushwork, it's lovely. And we'll see how these turn out. They'll also, once they've been fired, this fired, they'll go, a clear glaze will go over the top. Pieces in there. <laughs> this is going to be unreal. And we're going to see the couple pieces. Yeah, like when I just put it down there, and I just, I just imagine yeah, like, exactly. This is it. This is it. This, this is, is it. it. This is it. This is it. it. We've waited seven months of you know getting this stuff together, and um, most importantly, we've got anything that's been glazed is not touching, and we've got cookies under the ones that have actually 
that may run. And uh, yeah, let's just do it. Man. We'll see it in the morning. Yeah, we'll be in the morning. Our new Napa Firm kiln. Shout out to Northcote Pottery Supplies. We purchased this beautiful kiln about seven months ago. From Germany. From Germany. We had to wait for a little while for it to come, but we are so glad it's here. And off we go on our first fish fire. All right. Bisque, 950. Yes. Here we go, program we go. started. Off we go. We have that click. Yes. In a couple of hours, we'll see a nice red glow out of the, that little outlet there. Okay, our kiln has hit 600 degrees, so now we turn off the open air valves. And that stays like that for the rest of the kiln firing. We are now on the second phase of three main ones. So we should be able to open that up sometime Tuesday morning, maybe even tomorrow night. which is now at 939 degrees. It has about 19 minutes left before it starts its cool down. As you can see, it's pretty hot. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to see more. So this is red iron oxide wash, so Gersley borate and uh, actually, if you get me phone up, I'll have a look what the ingredients are. <laughs> Please stand by for technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs>